All right, Red and Whites, welcome back to our last match preview of the season. Uh, this time, we're here to look ahead to Saints' final game and final home game of the season where we host Crystal Palace at St. Mary's. So today, I'm joined by a very special guest to give us the bird's eye view from the Eagles. I'm joined by Jay from the Eagles Beak. So how are we doing, mate? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, hopefully, good. you went for that, uh, that favour from Chelsea as we're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it then mate um, so just quickly are you able to just summarise uh, Palace's seasons for us <laughs> very easy um, it's been a season of two halves really uh, first half was excellent right up until Christmas even even to you know end of the year we finished on th I think it's 31 points in the end and that was an incredible achievement for, uh, for us because we normally start relatively slowly in the top division and, and end up uh, having to fight our way out of the bottom three or, or away from the relegation zone but it's been quite the opposite this year so some great results up until Chris was playing really well and then injury started to impact the team loss of form combination of different things but I think a a loss of a couple of key players really hit us, and then a new year. It's it's no secret, is it? It's been it's been spread all the way across the media. I think we've won two games in nineteen um, since the start of the new year, which is appalling form. But that period from the start of the year all the way through to end of March, early April, uh, was was horrific, really. And I think any other manager would probably have been sacked. But the saving grace is our, our cup form, FA Cup. We've we found ways of beating Premier League teams in the FA Cup, but just not Premier League teams in the Premier League. Um, but you know, it's, we, we can't really change uh, you know change these things. We've got ourselves to an FA Cup final, um, and you know, in hindsight, it would have been nice to have a, a bit more of an even even season, really, not not one of two complete complete opposites. But um, but but yeah, we're, you know, we're Palace. We're we're kind of uh, used to different things happening. So um, so yeah, a, a lot of fans would have taken you know a lower finish in the league, and you know, with the, with an FA Cup final still to play, um, it's a great achievement, really. So you touched on your first half of the season, and then the second half is completely different. Do you <laughs> think? Do you think other other managers have figured Pardew's tactics out? That's that's why you kind of lost those those many games in the second half of the season. Uh, it's a good question, really. I, I I think it's a combination of different things. In that, yeah, we lost a few key players. Yannick Balassi was a massive loss for us. Just go, just went to prove how much how reliant we are on him. Um, yeah, for for an option out wide, Wolf Zaha played excellently. You know. As, as the main man for that period of time but you can't do it all on his own we're a team set up to play two wingers and not many teams do that in the Premier League we're quite different in that respect um, and also we play with a one striker up front that is our main formation um, and again I mentioned the Atbalas he got injured Connor Wickham's had three spells out injured uh, and one spell out suspended and he hasn't really had a, a good run in a good spell uh, running the team unfortunately Great so you've made it to the FA Cup final mate um, do you think Pardew will have one eye on that going into Sunday's game. Do you think he's going to arrest a few key players? Yeah, I think so. With our track record this season with injuries, as I mentioned, it's the worst season I've I've known myself um, in terms of injuries. And I asked Fort Palace for quite a few seasons now. So, um, yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, it, it's, he's made it no secret that he's going to play one of our academy uh, graduates in Sully Kayako who's impressed this season away at Shrewsbury he's had two spells on loan he's highly thought of at the club and it'd be good to see him to get you know, good to see him get some action because he he's gone on loan because he won't get in front of you got we've got Zaha we've got Balassi and we've got Sacco um, you know if he st sticks around and he, and he carries on his education then he might get ahead of Sacco if Sacco sticks around um, but with Wilf not playing because of injury I think he probably would have made it for this game if it wasn't for the FA Cup final, Wilf. But um, I think he had a knock in that semi-final and uh, probably worth saving him for that. Emilia Ednak as well. He missed the last game uh, against Stoke, the good win at, um, at home to Stoke. So he w he may well miss out as well, just to be you know, a little bit cautious. So we've got a few knocks going around the side. Um, Scott Dan has, has struggled in recent games and, and he's, our, um, he's our key centre-back as well. So who knows what Pardew's going to do. Um, but on the flip side, we've got a few fringe players who are, who are decent themselves and haven't had um, a run out that they would have expected this season. So, um, yeah, be, they won't be pushovers at all because they will want to impress 
if they get the nod in this game uh, ahead of the cup final as well, just to try and uh, you know change Pardew's mind in terms of starting lineup. Although no doubt about it that he's got his lineup sorted out. But uh, we've just heard today actually that Joe Ledley fractured his uh, leg in the game at Stoke, which is the reason he went off on Saturday. Um, another Charlie Adam tackle <laughs> ends in a ends an injury, but um, that's a real shame because it, it looks like he's going to miss a Euro to Wales. Um, he's been a big part of their campaign, you know, getting to the cha- European Championships. And you know, while he's been on the fringes for us, he he stepped in when we've missed yet when we missed goodbye. Um, and he, he's a, one of the fan favourites. He's our bearded genius, as we call him. Um, and it's really gutting to see a player um, like him. You know, he, he's not full of himself. He gets on with a job. You know, decent player, just gets on with it. Um, and to see him miss out on an FA Cup final and potentially the Euros is is a real sickener. So it's, it's actually, it seems like it's more of a case which players won't miss out on Sunday's game going into the <laughs> FA Cup final. Very possibly, yes, yeah. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, uh, can you talk us through your predicted lineup for the game on Sunday? Yeah, it, it's it's so difficult to predict what uh, what Parge is going to do because he gave um, Julian Speroni a run out against United in midweek before that FA Cup semi final. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if he put Speroni in goal. Um, a lot of fans think he is still our number one. Um, Hennessy's had a bit of a rough time this season. Uh, um, he's he's come in, um, then he was missed a few games. McCarthy came in, he missed a few games after a, after a couple of mistakes. Um, so it's been a season of goalkeeping errors. But on on his day, Hennessy has made a fair few good saves this season. It's just a shame that some of the bad ones has kind of um, you know overshadowed that. So um, I'm going to for Speroni in goal, uh, possibly a back line probably won't change an awful lot. Um, I'm. Probably going to go for Joel Ward uh, as a as a right back and Pap Soiree as a left back. Um, both been great servants to us this season. Sometimes a little bit you know erratic, but uh, but they've done a great job for us. Um, Centre back Delaney will probably play, and I'm wondering if Dan might actually be on the bench this week just to give him a bit of a break. Um, uh, maybe Martin Kelly will go centre back. He's a he's a fullback that we got from Liverpool. Hasn't had a, too much of a run out. Um, he's had a few uh, spots at left back, with his predominantly a right back. But for me and a lot of other fans I've spoken to, think he's going to be a centre back um, because he's he's kind of that. Uh, since he had his bad injury at Liverpool when he and he played for. England um, he's not as mobile as he used to be um, and he's he played one game against Liverpool centre back and he looks much more comfortable in that sort of area so maybe him or Mariapa might play in the centre back um, so difficult to choose uh, so difficult to predict how Pardew is going to work for this one uh, midfield um, again don't know if Kabai is going to play in this one um, I, I, I will stick with Kabai so Kabai, Punchin, Balassi, Kai Kai um, and probably Jordan Much will be in there uh, as well uh, and I think we'll probably stick with Conor Wickham up front, even though he's a bit injury prone. Um, um, again, Dyke Gale play well at the weekend, so could go for that two up front. It, it's it's a lottery, it really is. I would normally be able to predict the team for Palace, but this game is, you know, with the cup final on horizon, it's I'm there could be a few surprises in there, so it's a tough one to to you know to to pin down really. So it seems like to you, and I'm, and I'm sure most of the other Palace fans, uh, that they are prioritising the FA Cup because, let's face it, you've not really got anything to play for in this final, going into the final game of the Premier League. No, I mean we've we've secured our own safety by winning against Stoke. That you know there was a mathematical chance we could have gone down, um, but it would have taken a, a, an almighty swing against us for us to be involved in that bottom three. But there was always that concern. Um, but that win against Stoke secured it for us, and it makes this game a bit of a nothing game really. But you know as you. As you say, it's a nothing game. There's still a lot of money up for grabs in whichever position you finish in the Premier League. I think it's a few million different per, you know, for each each uh, each. Game. But I think for us, the priority has to be the FA Cup final. It doesn't come around very often, you know, for a club like us. Um, it's been nearly 25 years, 26 years even since the since we last got to one. So we'd be foolish not to take take it seriously and um, perhaps not take this game against you guys seriously and you need it more than us anyway <laughs> yeah we do um, just on a, not, a light note before you get your final score prediction I heard there's quite a few fans coming down on a steam train on Sunday yeah one of our the, the four guys that, uh, that, that own the club um, three of them have stepped back a little bit now since we had the investment from two American guys but uh, I think it's Jeremy Hoskins owns a few steam trains a, a steam train enthusiast uh, and he's put one of his trains uh, up to you know to take the fans down to the game I think it's something like 200 pounds uh, you know, for the journey down, um, I, I made a journey down for the FA Cup game last season, and uh, and it's it's a good it's a good train ride down Southampton, and uh, obviously a you know, good place to go and see a game of football. So uh, a lot of fans making the most of it. It'd be uh, it'd be a good experience, I think. Hopefully the weather holds out on the south coast. Hopefully so. so. <laughs> to wrap things up, mate, can you give us your score prediction? 
Yeah. Well, let's just say difficult to know what lineup we're going to go with, but I think whoever comes in for us is going to want to prove something to Pardew, you know, to try and get in that FA Cup it's squad for a start or, or try and push for a starting position. But I'm going to go for a narrow 2 1 loss uh, for us. So 2 1 to you guys. Well, there you have it, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know your score predictions and all everything else. Uh, and if you want to check out more Palace content going into the game on Sunday, head over to the Eagles Beak. That's at the Eagles Beak on Twitter and uh, subscribe for more. We'll see you all on Sunday. <laughs>